Hey, what's up guys? It's Texmer talking to you here and tomorrow we're going to have the Apple event and I couldn't be more excited. Tomorrow we will get new products. We have four options for tomorrow. The M1 X Mac Pros, the M1 X Mac Mini and the AirPods 3 will be designed. I'm not sure if the, this last one will come. It's a kind of a wild card, but let's see what happens. Of course, the M1 X Mac Pros and the M1 X Mac Mini are almost confirmed by now and I couldn't be more excited. I have waited for these computers for almost a year now and now that we are getting them, I couldn't be more hemmed up because these computers are my dream. The M1 X 16-inch MacBook Pro is my dream computer for almost a year and since I saw the performance increase and efficiency increase on the M1 computers that I've wanted an Apple Silicon computer for a while to edit my videos. And now that with all these changes coming to the MacBook Pro that I will discuss later, I could not be any more excited to spend all of my money on this computer. I will almost max out this option with a 32 core GPU option, a 32 gigabyte of RAM option on a 16 inch and one terabyte. So before I discuss more about the changes that are coming to the MacBook Pros and the Mac Mini, roll the intro. The M1X MacBook Pros will come with the M1X chip. This is the first thing that I think Apple will talk about in this event. They will follow a similar, a similar structure to the old M1 event that they had last year. They will first start talking about the M1X chip and how they build the most powerful chip ever with ARM technologies. This chip will have a 16 and a 32 core option in terms of the GPU. It will have 10 cores of CPU power, which 8 will be performance cores and 2 high efficiency cores. They will not probably talk about it, but this CPU will work almost like a puzzle. Now, you can build M1Xs on top of each other to have even more powerful CPUs. For example, you can use two M1Xs to use on the M1X iMac and have a more powerful iMac Pro with the M1X chip. And you could put four M1Xs on the Mac Pro and have four times the course as an M1X and even more powerful on the Mac Pro. So, for example, on the M1X iMac, we would have 20 cores, 16 of which would be high performance cores and 4 of which would be high efficiency core. Again, on the Mac Pro, having 4 M1Xs, you would have 40 cores, which 32 cores of those are high performance cores and 8 cores of those are high efficiency cores. This is insanely high core counts and insanely high performance too, and efficiency too, because if you think 8 efficiency cores is just insane, and even 4 is just the same as the M1, which is a very, very efficient ship, which grants you amazing battery lives and amazing low performance. So, for example, you have the M1X ship on the M1X MacBook Pros. Those probably don't need the high efficiency cores, but those two high efficiency cores would be even more efficient than the old 4 on the M1. So now the battery lives on these computers could be extended even more on simple tasks like browsing the web and just watching a little bit of YouTube or streaming video or even those simple stuff. Now we will be working on Final Cut and Photoshop, you will probably spend a little bit more faster the battery life. But the Zemonex chip is rumored to be way more efficient and way more powerful. So I couldn't be more excited and this chip will come to three computers, like I told you, the M1X MacBook Pros and the M1X Mac Mini, tomorrow. Then later it will probably come to the Mac Pro and the iMac 27 inch. But, of course, this M1X chip will have two options, the 16 core GPU and the 32 core GPU. It enables more RAM. Last year's M1 only had 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM. But this year's M1X will have a 16 and a 32 gigabyte option. I'm not sure about the 64 gigabyte option of RAM for this year's M1X. Maybe again just for the M1X iMac and Mac Pro, because I don't see Apple giving the 64 gigabyte option to the Mac Pros. So let's see. The reliable leakers like Luke Miani say that he is almost sure no 65 gigabyte is coming, but other leakers like Mark Kerman has told us that it will probably come. So we are in this strange time where we are not sure which one is correct. I would side with the less ambitious leak saying that there's no 64 gigabytes. But of course, this M1X chip will be again unveiled, unveiled and compared against a lot of older Intel chips and older laptops and Apple will probably say that this is the fastest chip to ever come to a laptop. These laptops will be the M1X MacBook Pros. The M1X MacBook Pros will not only come with the M1X chip that I've talked about before, but they will come with huge changes to their fundamental redesign. 
So we will have a huge redesign to the build quality of this computer. We will have more squared off corners, similar to the iPad Pro 2018 design. So it will be a little, probably a little bit more thin and it will probably be less round and more squared off. Now we have this squared off sides, but with the round back and top. So let's see if we can have just squared off computers. Ross Young, which is a very reliable leaker from this place, in terms of displays, of course, has said that these mini LED displays are coming with 120 Hz ProMotion technology, and I couldn't be more excited. This would enable 10 to 120 Hz variable refresh rates, which would enable even better battery life than before, more efficient screens, and of course, interchangeable refresh rates and buttery smooth 120 Hz on your M1 X MacBook Pro. It's insanely good to edit videos on 24 frames per second, watch movies on 30 frames per second, or even play games at 120 frames per second. I couldn't be more excited and I love promotion technology on my iPhone 13 Pro Max and my iPad Pro. And I can't wait to even get more promotion devices for my ecosystem. I'm just waiting for the Apple Watch to get promotion too. <laughs> Please Apple, be fast. Also, the M1 X Apple Pros will have a notch. Yes, a notch. You heard me right. We have a notch on the iPhone 13s and since the iPhone 10 that we have a notch on the iPhone because we had Face ID. And you might be wondering if we will be having Face ID if we have a notch on the Mac Pros. But leaks suggest that no, we will not have Face ID. This notch is only to occupy with the camera mini LED that we will have, which will tell if the camera is on or not, and the microphone. And why would we have a notch if we don't have Face ID? Well, because Apple wants to push the display to the top and use as much area as possible for that display. That's why we are hearing that we have a little bit more pixel sizes to these displays. So the notch will only occupy the top area where is the camera right now. So Apple will gain that extra screen space. That extra screen space, don't worry, won't be usable for apps because apps will have to use only against the safe area. This area will be not used by apps, like I told you, it will be used by menus. Apple right now has that menu bar and that's the reason why I'm not bothered by this notch because now we will have more screen real estate with the 16 by 10 aspect ratio that we now have on the MacBooks today. And this display won't be bothered by that bar that we have where you have the Apple symbol, you have the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, that bar will be on closer to the notch, just like on the iPhone. So it won't bother your content. And that's the reason why I'm not bothered by this notch. The renders that we see now, they don't make quite justice to this notch because they show you a full screen image. While Apple will probably have the wallpapers not going as top and then they will have a night mode bar or a black bar there. So let's see what happens with the notch. I'm very excited to see these Macro Pros. Monday, tomorrow, all the dots will be taken off. But again, deviating from the question. The M1 X Macro Pros will also have more I.O. Yes, I'm talking about the new MagSafe introduction. We will have a new MagSafe cable. So Apple will introduce two types of forms of charging, MagSafe and USB-C Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C 4. And how could we expect this? This is very unexpected from Apple, but they are backing up on their decision of removing ports and they are giving us back HDMI ports, SD card slots and Ethernet cables, probably on the power brick, just like the M1 iMac. But that's cool Apple, that's a good Apple, like Brian Song should have said, and I couldn't be more excited for this new I.O. because I will have an external display on my university dorm room and I will love to use HDMI because that display doesn't have any USB-C compatibility. So we will have three USB-Cs, one HDMI port, one SD card slot and one Ethernet port and of course MagSafe. So this is incredible, these M1X computers Changes are huge and I couldn't be more excited for, because finally we are getting the MacBook Pro that we deserved since 2016. Other product that is coming with the M1X is the Mac Mini. We are not 100% sure about the availability of the Mac Mini day one because Apple is having a little bit of trouble producing these computers, but the Mac Mini will be a redesign. According to John Prosser, this Mac Mini will feature a first gen like inspired design. So it's a retro design. We will have a glass top and uh, the aluminum sides will be probably space gray. We're not sure, but John Prosser leaked these renders and they look pretty cool. Of course, we are getting more I.O. than the M1 Mac Mini. We're getting four Thunderbolt ports, 10 gigabyte Ethernet port like we have now that on the Mac Mini, but we will have the 10 gigabyte port on the new M1X Mac Mini and probably the other ports that we have on the Intel 
Mac Mini that is available right now. That is getting discontinued and is getting substituted by this computer. Of course, it will start, let's hope, starts at $1,100, just like the Intel Mac Mini. Of course, I forgot to talk about the prices of the Mac Pros. Those will start at $1,800 and $2,000. In my opinion, this is just a prediction. The M1 X MacBook Pro 14 inch will start at $1,800 with a 16 core and a 32 core option for the GPU, a 16 and a 32 gigabyte of RAM option for RAM, and will start at 512 until eight, four or eight terabytes of storage. Each jump will probably start, go around for two or four hundred dollars. You have to probably more expensive jumps are bigger jumps. For example, from two to four or four to eight terabytes of storage. Again, the 16 to 32 core option, I think it will be a $400 jump and the 16 to 32 gigabytes of RAM, it will probably be around $200 for that jump. But the M1X Mac Mini will be the best value in terms of the M1X chip. It will start at $1,100 and it will be having the same performance as the MacBook Pros. So if you want the bare minimum hardware for the most amount of performance and money, get the M1X Mac Mini. And lastly, there's a wild card on this event. People are talking about the AirPods 3. I'm not sure those, those will come out, but let's talk about them too. The AirPods 3 are going to be redesigned with the AirPods Pro-like design, but no here tip. So it will have the old AirPods approach. It's going to have the AirPods Pro design with the probably similar case, and it will probably feature a new standard. So it supports high quality sound or hi-fi sound. It will probably have AirPlay 2 or AirPlay 3 support. We are not sure. It will look probably most likely like the AirPods Pro design. And that's it. No colors, just white color because Apple doesn't want have, us to have colors. If you want colors, buy Pete's. So that's it for the AirPods 3. It's kind of boring. I'm not seeing Apple releasing them together with the M1X Mac Pros because the event is called Unleashed. And I'm just seeing Apple introducing these three computers and the M1X chip, like they did last year with the M1. But what are your predictions for tomorrow's event? Are you excited? Leave them on the comments down below what you think it will happen. Are you going to start the event with the M1X chip? Are you going to get the M1X Macro Pros like the leak said? Or are they going just to be the current Macro Pros with the M1X chip? Is the M1X Mac Mini coming? I don't know. I'm not sure. I will think it will. I hope it does. So which computer are you getting? Drop on the comments down below your answer. And while you're there, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Follow my social networks, Twitter and Instagram. And it was thanks for talking to you here. Bye.